Hello, I'm Ulysses Foreman. I'm uh, with Team Onyx Care along with my partner, Kevin James. And this is our submission, our interactive prototype uh, for the Mental Health Innovation Challenge. Uh, so for this challenge, uh, we developed a solution, uh, specifically a mobile application uh, to be used for mobile phones and tablets, uh, which is uh, a solution for uh, sending audio messages uh, to, to friends and family. And so in, in effect, it's a micro social network uh, for staying in touch with your closest friends and family. Okay, so let me just dive right into that. <laughs> okay, so I'm pulling up the app here. Okay, and so our app is called Radio Rodeo Show. And so here, uh, this first screen, it is the intro screen, and we're just giving uh, the user a brief introdu introduction, and then we're gonna move on to the registration. Uh, so here are some just uh, quick instructions in the onboarding. And we're saying, hey, welcome to Radio Rodeo, a way for you to keep in touch with family and friends. And then we just hit next. And then get to the uh, further description, how it works. Uh, this is a personal daily radio show of your friends and family. Each day you record an audio message and we'll create the shows for you all. And hit next. And lastly, uh, listen to a radio show of your friends and family every day at 10 a.m. So in effect, uh, the user will record audio messages on a daily basis uh, to share with their defined groups. And each day at 10 a.m. we'll combine those messages into a uh, nice and fun um, audio uh, audio show, what we call it a radio show. Okay, so once we hit done, it's gonna take us to the on some onboarding screens where we're saying, hey, what is your name? And so I'm just gonna put Sarah here and then we can hit next. And then we're saying, hey, what is, what is your email? Uh, so we have some uh, you know, default descriptions to show that, hey, the email goes here. And so I'm just gonna say Sarah H at gmail.com. And we hit next. And this takes us to the user home screen. And here we'll see that uh, the username is displayed here, along with some sample uh, text of what a streak would look like. Uh, so we wanna show a gamified streak of um, how long the, uh, the person has been staying in touch with their friends and family. Uh, you know, how many days they've been staying in touch with friends and family to kind of keep that streak going and keep it fun. And so here uh, at the home screen, again, just a quick overview. As you see, we have a scroll bar here just to indicate to the user that this is a scroll, uh, scrollable page. And um, just for reference, this uh, orange circle is my uh, recording software. So it's not a part of that. <laughs> uh, and so we got some quick cards um, that are showing uh, the navigation here. And we have our, uh, also alternatively, our navigation um, app bar. <coughs> app bar. And so, the first thing that someone would do when they um, first log in is they're gonna create a group. And so here we have start your own group, create groups to share radio messages with friends and family. And so just providing a further description and uh, icons and helpful text as the person interacts with the application. And all of our text is 16 point font just to uh, accommodate for varying um, uh, eyesight. So we're going to create the group and we're asking, hey, please provide us a name for this group. And so for this group, let's just say I'm going with siblings and I'm going to hit next. And so here uh, they're going to get to the invite uh, code page. And so we're saying share this invite code with your group. Tell your friends to download the radio rodeo app and enter this code. And so, as plainly as we stated, uh, we want the person to share this code with whoever they want to be in the group. Once they go to the App Store and download our app, um, they'll enter this uh, code. So, if we were someone else entering the 
if we were somewhere someone else logging in and then and um, receiving the invite code and we would come to the invite page uh where we say please enter, enter your code below and you know but you know, whatever whatever the code may be and that would sync up the groups and uh, basically pair the person with whoever they want to be in the group and so once the groups are established, uh, we want to be able to record a message. And so we we'll navigate to this card here, record a radio message, and have a little microphone button, and we're just going to click record. And so here on this page, pretty simple screen, and uh, we just want the person to click uh, this icon button to record. And uh, once this goes, start recording the audio. And as long as it's click, this will continue animating to indicate that, you know, this is currently live. And so I'll say something to the effect of, hey, you know, I just picked up a big turkey for dinner today. Uh, it's going to be a great night. You know, something to that effect. <laughs> and once they're done with their audio message, uh, they'll stop it. And then they'll just uh, return, you know, return to the home screen. And so once the audio message has been recorded, uh, it's time to listen to what a radio show may sound like. And so here at the very bottom, say listen to today's radio show. So just gonna hit listen. And this takes us to our screen where um, another person will be able to hear from their group and be able to see the people that are in the group. Um, so we just have some sample information populated. Uh, and you know, here, here's a screen where they, you know, they would go to uh, hear their radio show messages. So let's listen to what a typical radio show may sound like. Radio Rodeo is an entertaining way to share audio anecdotes, life updates, and jokes with close friends and family members. The user records a short voice message and then the next day listens to your radio rodeo of all friends, family, and a compilation with music. Here's an example. Good morning, everyone. I'll be out grocery shopping all day. The kids keep eating all the leftovers so quickly. Who knew you could make so many dishes from Rico? Hello, everybody. I am currently heading to the grocery store with the wife. I'm doing so because last night I tossed out all of our leftovers and told her the kids must have ate them all. I mean, seriously, just how many dishes does she think she can make out of meatloaf? Unbelievable. Now we have some outro music. <laughs> Yeah, and so we have some audio provided courtesy of my fiance and parents. <laughs> uh, so um, once the user is done listening to this radio show, um, they'll just be able to hit the back button and navigate back to the home page. And so every day they would uh, scroll down to the bottom and listen to their show and and record uh, their their messages. And so. Uh, and so one another aim uh, that we want to accomplish is matching uh, matching people to uh, resources um, that they need. And so um, we have several ways where we're, where we're doing that. Um, and this is largely stemming from uh, meeting with a an ADRCs, uh, specifically uh, with Sarah Link, um, a director of No Wrong Door in Virginia. And we became aware of the Senior Navigator, uh, which is a directory for different resources, um, uh, you know, for old, older people. And so what we're doing is we have a user profile and we're matching uh, users to those to those resources. And we plan to uh, 
master users to not only that resource, but many other resources as well. And so getting into how we do that, uh, um, first and primarily, primarily, <laughs> we have a profile page. And so here on the profile page, you have a nice little icon and some, some sample data of what a user profile may look like. Um, but more importantly, uh, we have two sections indicating their needs and interests. And so here, um, someone may be able to indicate that, hey, you know, I really uh, would like home help, um, maybe transportation assistance, uh, things like that. And then in the interest, they'll be able to indicate, I am interested in learning, cooking, uh, music, and I'll be able to see their interest in a in those broad categories in that in, the, in that way, and when it comes to particular resources that we show them, they'll be able to save them um, here. And so here we have some Virginia resources uh, uh, populated to indicate how we'll display that. And so uh, mainly we're capturing some broad categories, and we're going to use these as a basis to um, as a basis for recommendations in. Uh, for resources. So really this is providing input for our recommendation engine. And so going back to the home page, now that we have the user profile, uh, we want to be able to further uh, fine tune those recommendations and make them more accurate. Uh, and so every now and again, uh, as someone interacts with this app, they'll be shown a pop-up and they're saying, and we're asking, hey, are you interested in uh, the Friendly Caller Friendship Line by Institute on Aging, and they can say, uh, you know, they choose either cancel or save the profiles as we previously shown, or they can go now uh, directly to the resource and, you know, be connected directly to the site uh, where they, they can explore further. Uh, so, and just navigating back to the app, um, I mean, we'll, we'll pull in directly from the Virginia Navigator, so there's going to be different um, resources that, that a user will be shown. And so as they save this to their profile or or navigate to it, um, those are strengthen the recommendations. Uh, okay, and so another thing we want to do is we want to get a, a baseline assessment of their mental health. And so... Um, every now and again, as the user interacts with this app, um, they'll be shown another pop-up uh, where we're saying, how how have you been feeling lately? And the user can uh, reply by dragging this to say neutral, slightly happy, very happy, um, to you know slightly sad, and very sad. And so we want to be able to show them different resources based on their mood level. And so if someone indicates uh, that they're very happy, well, and they click next, we want to be able to show them some resources that correspond to their mood. So it could be travel tours, social clubs, volunteering, different categories um, in reference to this. And again, as someone clicks on this, they'll be taken uh, directly to the site where they can explore further. And so these recommendations will all be dynamic um, based on your profile and you know current mood, et cetera. So if I go back um, and say, say we weren't feeling as good, say we're neutral, maybe a little sad, um, we want to be able to show you a different prompt. And so we say, hey, you seem to be feeling a little down. Do you want to play a game, like a, a way to de-stress? And so click yes. And you get presented with a little game where you can swat away the flies from the lim from the lemon, you know, just a a little, you know, kind of de-stressor de-stressor game. So, say you weren't, so you didn't want to play a game. Well, if you say no, we just provide you with a little quote and say, "Hey, ups and downs make the make the world go round." You know, just a little pick me up, right? Uh, now, in the in the event that you know you're feeling really down. Well, we can say, hey, you know, I'm feeling really bad. Um, we want to be able to show you some actionable resources. So um, here we have a button where you can say, hey, you can talk talk to someone, talk about it. And once they click this, um, 
This will populate the number to the uh, SAM HSA national hotline uh, where they could talk with the real agent. And so in that way, we route them to, you know, real people who can help. And, and so we want this to be very dynamic um, in what resources we provide them. And so now that we talked about the mental health checkups, uh, we want to touch on, we want to provide a, a way of reporting. Uh, we know facilities are, are interested in getting an assessment on how their residents are doing. Um, and so we built like a, an administrative dashboard. So this is corresponding to the mental health checkups. And we want to be able to report on how people have been feeling over time. And so ideally, this would be a, um, the person. And um, if you're a facility staff, you may be able to search on multiple different people and kind of see like, hey, what is my, what is our mood level been? What has their mood level been over time? Right. Um, and you know, just kind of just kind of give like a high level um, understanding. And so we also kind of made it a little visual dance just to show what's capable. <laughs> and so again, also from from a uh, staff of facility, I may have multiple facilities under my supervision. And so we want to be able to provide some reporting views where you can see that on a high level um, across um, multiple different um, across multiple different groups. All right. And so. Another thing we're considering as well in future development is uh, if we have a verified family member um, who's verified through a facility, uh, they can also have access to this specific, specific report on their loved one, on um, the elder one, and they can see, hey, how, how has my grandfather been feeling over, the, over time? And especially I mean, if they indicate that they're very sad, we want to be able to prompt um, those people in the group to you know, reach out to this person and um, hey, you know they could use extra, extra call today or or something to that effect. So in that way, we want to be um, proactive and but also you know responsive to you know how they're actually feeling. You know, let's let's do something about that. Let's help them in that way. So, so yeah, uh, that. Pretty much concludes the entirety of the app. We wanted it to be a very simple, very streamlined um, application, but also wanted to make it fun uh, for many for many different people. And so we made this application specifically with um, the elderly audience in mind, but it can be used for um, you know other audiences as well. Um, yeah. So <laughs> we thank you for the uh, challenge and we're looking forward to your feedback. Uh, so we'll talk again. Thank you.